In the 1970s, Paul Harvey hosted a radio program called The Rest of the Story. Harvey would introduce a story and event that many people had heard of, but also tell a behind the scenes account that not many people knew. Today you will hear the best of the story, how God is working in the lives of people at Lubbock Christian University. So Steve, thanks for taking time to share with our friends the best of the story. Let's start with the first question. At the end of the day, the public perception about college athletics is about winning. Is that true here at LCU? Also, how does God play a role and factor into the overall goal of winning? Yeah, I think uh, looking at athletics, I think the goal here at LCU is, is winning. It's losing. It's handling adversity. It's learning to, to handle all kinds of situations. I think team sports provide a great opportunity for people to learn. Uh, I'm not sure. I think these days in Christendom, uh, we may think it's not right to, to follow worldly pursuits, to, to pursue maybe greatness, but I think that's exactly what God wants us to do. I think in Philippians it talks about if anything's excellent, if anything's praiseworthy, think about these things. And I don't think that just applies to religious, spiritual pursuits. I think everything is a spiritual pursuit. And so uh, I think God's actively involved in everything that's going on. I also I uh, don't believe that, that he's so interested in whether we win or lose. I think he's really interested in how we respond to winning, how we respond to losing, and, and the maturity that comes from all those experiences. How do you, as the coach and the leader, how do you define success? I heard, read the other day in a book, uh, it was a good de definition of success. It was doing the best you can with what you have where you are. And for some teams, success might be winning 10 games, and that might be a tremendous success. And so when we chase the worldly definition of success, which would be a trophy, uh, which would be a championship, which only one team a year is going to get in any given sport, any given league. And so uh, I just think that's dangerous to define success in that way. I, I thought that was a great definition. Doing the best we can with what we have where we are. And uh, if that leads to a championship, great. Then, then so be it. And if it doesn't, that's fine. Even this year, uh, we won a national championship, which is great. We also right now are, have a 38 team GPA for the entire year, which might be first in the country in D2 women's basketball. So if we wouldn't have won the basketball championship but had done that, would that be successful still? It's hard to, to say what people define as success, so uh, I just want to do the best that we can do. And wherever that leads us, we can be at peace. But uh, I don't think necessarily, again, that God is going to help us to win just because we have the name Christian in our school. Next question, Coach. Lubbock Christian University is a Christian university. At some places you can wear the name Christian, but this may not be a part of athletics or maybe even segmented through departments around the university. How relevant to you as the leader of this program is that word Christian? And in regard to this, are there any specific student athlete examples that you can share? Yeah, it's so nice to have a team. There's a lot of names come to mind when you ask that uh, question immediately of examples we can share. Uh, the word Christian, you think of Lubbock Christian University, women's basketball, and all those different words that make that up. Lubbock's important. You know, it's great, this great community. Uh, university obviously is vital. You know, the academic side, the school itself. Uh, you know, women's basketball is growing in stature and it's great to represent the women's side of the game and basketball is awesome. But the word Christian, that's the identity that everything comes out of. Uh, so often we talk about how we have feelings and we have uh, actions and we have identity. I think their actions sh should come out of our identity, not the other way around. And so uh, we want our identity as Christians to, to inform and educate everything we do on the court, the way we play. Uh, I think it's vital. You know, Maddie Chitsey is one of our players who went through some ups and downs this year, ended up having a tremendous season. But so many people responded to her attitude, her words in press conferences, her, her demeanor, her humility through greatness. Uh, it was tremendous to see. You know, Ashton Duncan, another player who may not have had many statistical, uh, much statistical recognition this year, but the sacrificial spirit that she gave, the joy uh, of finding success in others, uh, it's because of her faith. Her, her Christian faith uh, gives birth to the way she acts. And so, uh, yeah, we, we can't, we don't want to run away from that word. We're never going to tell someone when they come to play basketball here. Uh, well, that's not important. That's the most important thing. And so we want players to understand they're coming to a Christian environment as a university and as a basketball team. Coach Gomez, I have another question for you. As far as your, the principles that guide your team, what are, what are a few of your principles that you use maybe to start the year and guide you through throughout the season? 
Yeah, I think one of the most important things, and we'll tell recruits this, uh, we'll bring them in when they're visiting and we'll say, we just want you to know you're not that important. That doesn't sound very encouraging, but, but we want them to, to buy into the fact that we tell our team, none of you are more important than all of you. Uh, you know, it's a team and we've got to work as a community and, and you're not going to be the main focal point of every decision we make. And that's one, uh, you know, one of the phrases we use a lot is if you only look out for number one, you're going to step in number two. Now that sort of has an odd connotation maybe, but really it's biblical. You know, Philippians chapter two says, you know, don't do anything out of selfishness or conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. And so that principle is really important. Uh, we talk about living a life worthy of the calling we've received. You know, they're called into a special place here, the university, the, the team, and we want them to live up to that. Uh, and the fact that nothing's gonna work unless you do. You know, we, we have girls that work incredibly hard you know, in the weight room, on the court, in the, in the classroom. And we want that culture uh, to really, for them to buy into the fact that life takes sacrifice. You've got to work uh, in order to earn opportunities. And so, yeah, those are some of the things we really want to get across to our girls. Thank you, Coach Gomez, for your time today. And that concludes the best of the story. Coach Gomez, thank you for your service to Lubbock Christian University, for your leadership to LCU, for what you've done with the Lady Shaps basketball program. And thank you for uh, being a part of this mission of kingdom changing opportunities that we get at Lubbock Christian University every day. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.